There it is. What is it? Is it something to do with dun 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 or not? Welcome everyone. You are live on the Gathering Point show where we got hot glass flowing. Tonight's kind of a cool prepping technique. We got Oliver in the background. He's going to do one as well. Wait until you see what they're going to do. Dun, dun, dun. So guess what color this is? We've got two colors mixed together. When it's hot, you cannot tell at all. And why do we have two colors mixed together? I'm going to show you. Oliver's got his shaping it with a wooden block. Here goes Chris. They're going to blow this up for a project that we're working on. Right. And why don't you guys put it in the chat? How big do you think this is going to get? Because this isn't our normal glass blowing show. Tonight it's something different. You can see the two colors there. One, I believe, is white, but the second color, that's for all of you to guess. You're gonna puff that out and just get it symmetrical and start your bubble, keep it in control, and then neck it, and then you're gonna do exactly what I was doing here. If it starts to blow out crooked, go ahead and marver it. Scooch forward a little so I can. Shell. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, it's got white. You can see where that is. What is the other color that looks orange right now, but is not? Look at the shadows, so cool. It's looking like a soft gray. Got some nice purples in there, some beautiful lavenders, purple and white. I was going to go with lavender because the thinner it got, the more I could see that hue of it. So we do like to try to break these guys off in a whole unit and then try to get them so we can shard them out. Oh yeah. So fun. So it will, well, there was water it sounds like in that tray. So it cracked it. Sometimes if you do them on the floor, we're going to be making more this week. You can just lay them out like these giant bubbles. So Oliver's is- I think puff it right out, Oliver. Give it all you got. Is it two shades? Yes, his is two all shades. All right, who wants to guess Oliver's color? Keep spinning, baby. Spin and turn. This is funny too, because this takes a lot of blowing. Oliver's taking a couple deep breaths. These are extra bits of glass that we have. Woo! And it's a really cool way to use them up. I love it. So this is a, a particular color technique, you guys, where we're, bl we're blowing out solid bar color that when it was small and about the size of, let's say, an Ooh. acorn, it was pretty much black. You couldn't even tell what color it was. It was so dense. And now we've got a little bit of black. We've got a little purple and a little blue, which I love it. So when you break these up into smaller pieces like this guy, Oliver's gonna be breaking his up right now. But look at this guy, see if I can. That's a glass shard. Whack it, baby. Ooh. Feels wrong doing that with <laughs> that guy. Let me grab this. There it there is. Cracked like an egg. That one's still hot. We won't be touching that one yet. So you can actually use this, these glass shards as color applications Ooh. on the surface of hundreds of different products, which is super cool. Take that So we you. love showing you guys new, cool, interesting things right from the get-go, but this is the gathering point. We're here outside of Detroit, Michigan in Dearborn. This is show number 256. My name's Chris Nordine. We got Bess over here at Tech Support. Thank goodness Bess is back. Shoo! Yeah, she wasn't here last week. We've got Oliver over here. Howdy, everybody. Amazing Oliver. And Michelle's on the camera. She is the one in charge. So we're going to be jumping around doing a lot of really cool things tonight. I'm going to let uh, Oliver and Michelle talk to you for a minute, and I'm going to gather up the warmer upper gather to make the warmer upper piece. But as you can see, the Red Wings are playing tonight, and I had to get all geared up for playing the Washington <laughs> Capitals, and that's important news, folks, because the Red Wings are doing great. 
and we are still in a wild card position for the playoffs. So send all your energy towards the Detroit Red Wings. Oliver, take it away. Absolutely. I'll let you gather it up, guys. We're about to get into the warmer upper. Will you grab me some color to show the shards? And while yeah, he's absolutely. doing that, I'm going to show you our featured egg for this year's show. There's like a little shard right there. There's another shard in there. Here's some more. And look at those sparkles. So this is what it looks like before we make the egg. That's just our naming for those shards, the perps. But they're thin. And then we mix, these are color mixes that we do. So we do our mushrooms in them, but we're also gonna do some signature eggs this year. I'm excited for the eggs this year. You've been doing a great job making them. All right, while Chris is deciding what he's gonna gather up, I know you guys saw some of the pictures. Jake, hello to you. Jake's at the polling station. He's not there tonight, not here tonight, but he's there. If you guys went to vote, perhaps you did in your town. So while they're getting set up, let me just give you a quick rundown of the items. Super fun gives you an idea of scale when you see it in my hand. When we did that uh, survey, do you like stemmed wine glasses or not stemmed? Uh, it was 50-50. There are a lot of people who really like the stem. What's your favorite, stem or no stem? I like a stem on it and I really, I'm just naturally drawn to exactly the one that you were showing off, like number one with a couple of bumps on it like that. But I was giving Jake his props the other day because I saw this one here. And I know how, just seeing how well Chris and Jake work together is one thing. But to know how difficult doing a perfectly straight, thin, long stem like this is. And I, I noticed it and I was told Jake, I was like, man. Man. That looks perfect. <laughs> so what are you making over there, perfect guy? Well, it's goblet night, drinkware. So I'm making a goblet, a wine glass. And I got some beautiful, really nice uh, cranberry color, which is a super expensive color, but it's nice to work with. I'm making sure that I put three minimum coats of the cranberry color on the surface so that I don't get a speckle pattern and it's more of a, a solid color pattern. You see that? So, and the reason I wanna make sure that it's solid is that I'm gonna be going into the optical mold. And I've got a couple different optical molds here that I can use. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm also going to see, since it is it was 75 degrees out today, I hope that uh, my it, jersey lasts. It was 75. I, I watched it and I saw it I in know, my car. I know, but isn't it supposed to snow tomorrow? Yeah, well, that's going to be some record breaker. That's what Michigan's all about, guys. <laughs> Someone told me about that. 75 degrees like, one day and it's snowing the next. So while Chris is getting this prepped up, the two molds he has out is the straight mold and the pineapple mold. In the comments, which one do you think Chris is gonna go for? Pineapple mold, when you think about it, it looks like a pineapple. It's got those crisscrosses on it. So glass blowers, you know, we make it easy for ourselves. It looks like a pineapple shape on the inside once you blow it out. Well, I'm not gonna make a wine glass that looks like a pineapple today. It'd be interesting if I did. The pattern though. What? The pattern of a pineapple, yeah. like the crisscross. I didn't know you could pop those little cells out. Do you ever see someone do that? Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. Really? I guess if you grew up with pineapples, you know how to eat them like that. Oh yeah, the little square. I was thinking about a glass piece. I'm like, really? That's what I was thinking Sorry. as well. I, I, I was, was in the glass. I was envisioning a pineapple in my head and the crisscross pattern, so sorry. Those if just you, come out? If you all could climb into my brain, it would make much more sense. All right, this is a tricky mold. I have never successfully used this mold because I've never tried it. You have to, I'm short, and so I'm always intimidated by things I gotta blow into, standing on a stool and then suck the air out. It's not been a good, easy piece for me to use. So everything about this mold is working the glass quick, you guys. Go ahead and blow, Oliver. Don't burn up your sweatshirt there. You blowing, Oliver, hard? Good? 
Now watch this, guys. Cap it, Oliver. Beautiful. Let's get this heated up. I just sealed that end up with a really cool shape at the bottom of this thing. Uh, it's going to be a, a unique shape for a wine glass. All right, we got Jake in the house, Bess. Is he watching? What up, Jake? Comments on YouTube. One more cap. No, oh, man, he's on blow. Facebook. He's multitasking. Is he, like, Good. doing the poll? I wonder how late are the blow? polls open? Well, I thought they hotter. closed at 6. I think they're open a little later because they needed yeah, to get like eight time or for nine. people to go after work. Yeah, that makes sense. Voting day might even become a legal holiday. Oh, I had a sticker in my bag I wanted Blow. to bring out. Good. It was weird watching the show last week instead of being involved in the show. I mean, oh, I was I still bet. involved. I was doing all kinds of stuff behind the scenes. It all was weird right, not my being here in the hot shop. Right? Yeah, We're going for weird. a stem. You don't have like the stem. smells or the purple sounds stem. Yep. as much. Okay. Yep. So, whichever one you got there that's purple. Yep. We are happy you're back. Get it. How big you thinking? Pretty big? Okay. I want to say between Jake and Bess, makes me feel really good that the tech will have the right properties. Jake, the gimbal's working just fine. I walked away from it and said to Bess, you set it up. And she did. I made a point to specifically pull up my jersey on the right side here, guys, because this is a classic Abu Datsuk jersey from the Winter Classic game. And I definitely don't want to be burning my sleeve on it. But Okay, we do this show for two hours. Let's guess the time that Chris is going to take the sweatshirt off. Okay. I'm going to say... Let's see, we're at 6.13. I'm going to go with 6.48. Well, clicks. and the Wings game doesn't even start till 7. Uh, two, oh, three, yeah, so why does he need it now? Maybe he should put it on right at 7 and then like, dun da 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 If you guys want to put in the comments where you're watching from, I'll read them off because you guys know I love to do that. Trying to think proportions the whole time yeah. we're doing this. I really love getting a nice tight looking stem there. Okay, on. Hey, you guys know what's happening? Good. I think it's March 8th. Who's watching? A show called Blown Away going to release. Ooh. I wonder if we can binge watch the whole thing. That's what I'm wondering. Uh -huh. When I started watching Blown Away, they already had the other seasons up, so I got to sit there and uh, I got to binge for a couple days. So I'm hoping thing. I can again. But I remember I they that did that last time. They did, but Netflix has been separating out a lot of stuff. And they got bought. They were a pilot and they got bought by Netflix this season. Okay. I hope they don't show it all at once because it's more fun if you have to wait a little. Plus, I can't stay up and watch TV that long. Jake said they are shooting rubber bands at each other from across the room at the poles. Oh, yeah. Oh, must be busy. <laughs> all right, Oliver, we're going to be going for an iris foot. Iris foot, you got it. We just got... want you to give it uh, one coat and one coat and then heat it up, keep it round in the in the uh, frit tray. Yep. And then get it super hot and bring it over. One drop, no margarine. You got it. Super creamy. We've got Sharon watching from Pretty big. California. Susan from Indiana. Bigger's better. Morna from North Carolina. Shout out Robin watching from Dearborn, who was just here working on packaging up a lot of stuff getting sent out today. Yeah, the classes were busy this past weekend. Yep. What's up, everybody? Making a crazy goblin here. I might even end up putting some handles on it. I 
know I got Oliver here bringing me some tasty bits. We've got <coughs> Oliver's grandma watching from Midland. Yeah! Carol from Sarnia. Woohoo! We've got Mary on YouTube watching from Hudsonville. Mary says, I want to shout out to Jacob. I ordered a goblet last week. It came with a special note and I almost cried with joy. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Don't drop it till you get over me and lift your, your the back end of the pimp up real high so it falls off straight. Okay. Let's do it. What you heard Chris just say was always an interesting thing Straight for up. me, being shorter. I was like, how do you get it to drop super goopy like that when you're short? And the glass lower is taller than you. You get a stool. All right, this is a wooden footing tool. It looks kind of black, but it's cherry wood that's been soaked in water. That's why you see steam coming out. We've got Terry in Moosup, Connecticut. Regina in Buffalo, New York. Regina, I am from Buffalo. Uh -huh. so I just drove through super Buffalo. Extra special shout out to you. Beautiful. We've got the twins in Twinsburg, as always, on both YouTube and Facebook. We've got Mary and Davison. We've got Eugenia no, in Aztec, Pony. New Mexico. Ooh, That's a fun one. That's a fun one. Patty in Commerce Township. And so that's a good question. That leads me to my next question. How do you guys find out about us? If you're from New Mexico, we do a lot of traveling, but New Mexico is not a place I've gone. Might be something to do with the Google? intranet. Intranet? I've heard intranet and the Facebook. The Facebook. The Facebook. Perfect. All right, if you're new to the show, this is called The Gathering Point. We just hired a new staff member and she said, I heard this is a family owned business. And I want to say, yes, it is. She said, do you know any of the family who owns it? All right, so one person who owns it is Chris Nordine, who's right here. Let's do it, Oliver. Business opened in 2003. Might be a little bit hot. We're located in Dearborn, Michigan, the home of Henry Ford, a very easy way to remember it. And tonight's show was called the Goblet Tutorial. Because why not? We're doing step by step. If you're a glass blower out there, timing is everything. So watching this allows you to gauge how much time is needed for each step. The cool thing about our shows is if you have Thank a you. question, we answer it for you live during the show. So if you're like, hey, are you <laughs> gonna trim the top of that goblet? You can put it in the chat. And we'll answer. And generally, if that question comes across, you got to watch for one of these. Is that the secret, like a baseball? Yep, that means we're trimming it. <laughs> like a football. Do you have your code on your arms, like your, your plays? That's right. Like this. That's your next play? They do it that way just because they think you're really looking at your watch. But any of those football players who are out there looking at their watch during their the Rolex? game... They're gonna get thrown off the team for oh, yeah. sure. <gasps> get oh, home, man! They better speed this up. <laughs> That's what it be. better not go in the overtime. We got Jody watching from Prince Edward Island. No. Oh, oh, fun! Yes. What's the weather over there? Uh, Jody, what's your weather? Like? Yeah, I'm very curious. Uh, my mom's watching from Williamsville, as always. Hi, mom. Katrina's watching from Australia. Ooh, what's the weather there? We've got Cody from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. There's We've the got, trim. We've got, let's see here. Julie, hello, Julie. Jake says, since Bess is back, is this sweetie going to be for sale tonight? This piece is going to be for sale. Absolutely. It hurt me last week not to be able to sell anything because Beth ah. was at home feeling ill. I was feeling a little more than ill. I know. It's I horrible. Down. So glad you're feeling better. Thank Here's you. the deal. We do an outdoor festival for seven weekends plus two days. So for 16 days, we sell off the stage. What happens when Chris and Jake come here and we do our live show? They just get in that mode where they're like, let's sell what we're making. So if you're new to the show, we do sell our items. They have to cool off. 
You're seeing them being made. You can always go back and check them out later. Like if you were to buy this one, it go, goes up uh, on the website, you see it for sale. Adventurine runner bits. Ship it out to you. Then you can always okay. show your friends. You know, hey, you're going to bring them over goblet. like a lip wrap size. You're going to hold it up and you're going to bring it down. I'll pull it down and you're going to hold it over and be steady. I'm gonna, yeah, we'll do the walk the dog move. You got it. You can say, I bought this goblet. Here's show number 256 on the YouTube channel. Let's watch it be made as I drink my special beverage out of it. We've got Tamsin watching from Australia. No. Ooh, we have some nice international people today. Diane says it is 80 and sunny in Florida. Hey! We had some pretty nice weather today. Yeah, we did. I put a sweater on this morning and I was regretting it by my lunchtime, which Isn't that I didn't true? think I would be, but here we are. So I changed to my Thank good you. old bright green Glass Academy t-shirt. Yeah. We're gonna do That's another gonna some sort of green for our Get spring show. Speaking of which, when is our spring show? March 10th, 9th and 10th, yes. 11 to four, you can come here in person in Dearborn, Michigan and watch us make fun spring related themed items. Shoot it, Oliver. Stuff your Easter basket full of Straight up in the air. Fun things. All the way, straight up for a minute. I right, flip, down here, right there. Okay, hang it right there, stay right there. Steady. Jody says, we had a beauty of a day on Prince Edward Island, sunny and way above freezing. It Lift was a up. stunner. Keep going. But Lift. freezing what? It was Straight a stunner. Straight up, though. And then Cody, also on Prince Edward Island. It's funny, Jody and Cody. Cody says, we have lots of snow on the ground. The weather is nice. And it was sunny. Well, Jake's going skiing next week in Canada, so he's Another looking one. for that snow. Coming right up. I need everyone at home to know that doing moves like that is why I am not allowed to have the espresso before the show. <laughs> I'll zoom in close on the next one. It's so bizarre filming this because we talk and it's real time and then you look so at I like push down one, our media two, and three, it doesn't four. line up. So Oliver's got to be very aware of that first bit he brought because he wants to bring as best as he can duplicate the same size and shape this next time. Now he knows which angle to hold the pipe, how Chris is looking for it, and he'll do that same thing. Hold it up as you're walking over to me. Straight up in the air. There you go. Stay. Pammy is here from Australia. Okay, Hello, Pammy. Hello, Miss Pammy. I'm debating about next time putting a wall behind this so you're not distracted by everything in the background. Lift up. Lift up. So goblet tutorial, if you're joining us near a glass floor, this is an amazing way to watch someone shape some glass. Because we're a small studio, we're able to get right in, get those sweet shots, and get out of the way. You can grab me the flat crimps, the small, the narrow flat crimps, Oliver. Yes. No texture on them? Nope. Right there. Thank you. Chris putting a little bit of heat into that with the super radical torch. How are you putting this away? Are you doing forks? Yeah. Or upside down? Forks. So the reason I mentioned that is Oliver went to go grab those. They need to be slightly preheated. You always got to be thinking one step ahead of it, what the next step is. All right, that's something special about that adventurine. I really love handles out of it. I've never, I only did it once before. You guys can see this, look at that. And that's the warmer upper. 
That's, I'm feeling warm with this jersey on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did we guess? Did people put a time in the chat? What time is Chris going to take the sweatshirt off? Hey, we, uh, 6.48, I've claimed. Uh, yep. Reduction on the foot. Are you putting a GA stamp on it? I am, but it's going to be on the bottom because it's not going to be on the stem here. It's a little fragile. So you get a little iridescent in the foot because I made it that gorgeous iridescent amber. And then we're going to be able to put this tasty little treat away. I love goblet night. Sorry, Jake. Sorry the uh, black bucket sap sucker got a hold of you and stopped you from, from getting there. He's at the pool. You got the stamp over there? Yes. Okay. Someone asked for a reminder of what colors this was. Was it cranberry and adventurine? Cranberry, purple in the center, and adventurine. All right. It doesn't want to come off. Water. So a flash, you gotta flash the whole thing, a little water on the back. We reduce it. Just kinda how it rolls. Yep. Go ahead and give me some reduction right now. Huh? The cool thing is, again, if you've never watched our show, we are a small studio here in Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, not a high production studio. This is more of what like an art studio looks like. We do have a staff of about 12. That includes office, graphics, photographer, shipping department. But at the end of the day, we're still a small crew. Not everyone's full time. Name of the company is called The Glass Academy. We've been here since 2003. Ooh. Oliver's taking a torch. You're stamping it right out. And just going on the bottom, and I then got he's going to push our logo into the bottom. What color are we going in? Number one on the left side. This is preheating those forks so it won't shock the goblet when he puts it on it. Yep. Stamp it. See that torch real quick? Take that. Go ahead and uh, get ready to put it away. Come on now. That's been out a long Good. time. Whew. The oven they're going to is called an annealer. It's 900 degrees. The goblet is cooling down super quick. It wants yep. to be hot. All right, you okay? Yeah. All right. How's it, sweetie? Love it when it makes it into the box. A little bit of problem uh, getting it off the punty, but that's not a big deal. It was a really big punty, and Jake and I have been doing these goblets, and Oliver has no idea about how we've been doing them with a, uh, it's a brick powder punty, which works unbelievable on stemware. But that punty that I had on there was about three times the size it needed to be. That's why it was a hard time coming off, but I wasn't going to argue and try to teach Oliver how to bring those punties at the time. You know uh, what? You will just show us on this. Talk about can yeah, you just brick punny? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Well, you, a brick punny means that what you do is you actually gather up a gather up molten glass and then you roll it on a brick so that you get a bunch of brick dust on the punty. And you're going to see if I create a little brick dust here, what's going to happen. Stay tuned right there, Chow. So instead of having a giant punny with the connection point that's bigger than the smallest point of the stem, you pretty much gather up molten gather, get most of it up onto the pipe, this is good information from other glass pours out there, and then you take this and you roll this right onto, and you sharpen it down to a little bit of a point. Now check that out. Hold still. The end of that piece has only got a connection point about the size of a pea. So when I squash it on the bottom of the piece, watch. Look at that. 
there's a center point that's connected that's hot and then you've got all this brick dust that's keeping it strong but it's not fused to the bottom of the piece so when you knock it off it comes off real easy that's what we're shooting for when we're doing cups and Oliver you'll learn about those eventually I know you didn't know about that so uh, yeah that seems <laughs> I feel like you just broke a lot of rules that I thought about glass but I'm gonna have to step up to the plate here <laughs> <laughs> well if we get you in here work making cups with Jake and I uh, you're gonna learn that absolutely so if anybody is watching the Wings game, you guys, let us know in the chat what the Starts score at seven, is. Right? What time is yet, but when it comes on, we're gonna need to know. We need play-by-plays in the chat. <laughs> exactly. <Whoops. laughs> but we do have. Uh, is the website live, Michelle? It's past six thirty. You could ask Beth. Nice. So I want to talk about some of these cups. Chris is so funny. Does he think I have like multiple arms? Multiple what? Arms? I don't have a clock on this thing. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Goblet night. But for starters, the question of the evening. What kind of special occasion could you see yourself using one of these handcrafted Jake Chris collab goblet goblets? Bess, do you want to describe Enter to Win? What's that? Will you describe what Enter to Win means? Yes. So, enter to win means that um, you send your answer to our question to enews at glassacademy.com and you get entered to win whatever we make or decide to give away. That was my hint to put it on the screen. I'm sorry I caught you out of context. That's okay. Well, we can. What, Oliver, uh, Oliver and I were uh, having a little powwow real quick and you caught me off guard. So, <laughs> when Jake and I do cups together what happens is I do a cup and Jake assists me and then he does a cup and I assist him and we switch back and forth so we go through some of these cups that are tasty cups that uh, Jake made and I made and there's some nice ones this right here is a beautiful one that Jake made number two I think it's very elegant has a tulip shape to it it's got the gorgeous matching bumps texture which feels great in your hand out of the iridescent color with the stem this is a really nice piece and I commend Jake on the foot if you can see the side view of that foot Michelle the taper in the shape of it's really important and when you're blowing glass with me I'm always critiquing every single thing that Jake's doing telling him that's nice but you want to do this he probably gets tired of it but that's okay because that's the only way you get better but some of my favorites up here number 11 it's a super nice one. It's got a gorgeous looking, super thin, fragile stem. It's got a beautiful iridescent gold brown foot. And then it's got a comfortable belly to the piece. It sits in your hand perfectly. That's number 11, you guys. And that is a really, really pretty looking cup. So you know what we can do? You have a custom order next. But if you guys see a style you want to see us make on the show, take a look. Uh, Bess probably put it in there. Go to glassacademy.com. You can look at them. There's pictures of each of these. Yeah, some of these are made for something even a little bit different. This one would might not even need to be. I made this one. It might not even need to be uh, beer. It could be like a port would be nice because it's not high volume. It's something that you want to have the smell resonate a little bit. It's a nice piece. I think we're going to come back to the goblet table shortly, you guys. But make sure you check them out. They're all super cool. And we're going to start working on our custom piece now. So maybe uh, we should talk about what the custom piece is. I think so. I already showed the picture. You did already show the picture? Yeah. Did everybody already see it? You want to show it again? Yeah, I, I will, think so. I've got it up on the we screen. we got to hear the story nice. behind it. This particular. <laughs> I'm supposed to stand by you? Please. Oh, I've got it up there. Oh, never mind. Yeah. This particular monster, Michelle, Jake, and I, how many years ago was that, Michelle? A bunch of years ago, we made, each of us made a monster and designed it, and we put it into production and made about 25 of each one of those monsters, three different monsters, and we named them and we wrote a story about them. And my particular monster was called the Block Bucket Sap Suckers. And they were these monsters that started back in the 1600s, and they lived. Uh, and were born out of the cherry wood in the woods of Bavaria. And they grew into the glass blowing studios and the story goes on and on. At some point we're going to uh, elaborate and put that story up for you guys to read. But 
Sue Schmidt has one of those monsters, and she bought that, and she asked if we could do a custom mug that is like the uh, Black Bucket Sap Sucker, and that's what we're doing. So I know the colors, I know the shape, I know the eyes, and this thing is going to be pretty sweet. So we're going to get started on it right now, and I'm actually going to mount this mug on a set of legs that we had the, the uh, Black Bucket Sap Suckers mounted on. And this is a extra, I custom modified these, cut them down, spread the legs out, made them bigger so that it would be a sturdy handle and a sturdy set of a mug like this. So here we go, guys. We're getting started. Let's go. Getting started. Okay, I've got 11 minutes till Chris takes off his Red Wing jersey. I know Chris didn't say it, but just so everyone's aware, no black lock bucket sap suckers were harmed in the process of <laughs> We don't run an operation like that here. We've got Diane watching on YouTube. She says, this is our fourth show, I believe. My mom and I are hooked. We have you guys up on the TV. Well, yeah! welcome, Diane. Woo! That's so glad cool. to have you. I love that because, you know what? Sometimes it... Oliver, will you hold us a second so a name with a face, if you're new to the show, you know who's talking. Do you ever watch like a video where you hear the person talking all the time and you never see them? It, it like makes me crazy. I feel like that's every Nat Geo documentary ever. I never know. Right? Okay, so this is, I'm Michelle. I'm going to be helping you guys through the journey. If you're new to the show, thank you. Stay all the way to the end. We've got some new members that came on. We started a membership last week. And if you like the show and want to support it, there's a way you can do that. And there's give backs to you in that. So I want to give a shout out personally. Thank you to all the new members who signed up. Jessica made us a tag. We're going to have that at the end of the show for you to see. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sue, I'm pimping this out. It's going to be amazing. I'm dusting the cracks with the Venturine. And then I'm going to gather over it. I didn't want the whole sap sucker to be, the whole mug to be all adventuring. I want to be a vortex of adventuring going up and then the solid tentacle handle, which is the body and the head and everything of the sap sucker coming off the handle. Uh, so this is gonna be a pretty, pretty neat process. So I got that adventuring in there. When you go into an optic bowl like these optic molds and you want to dust the cracks, when I say that, that means what I want to do is I want to come out of the mold and have 12 unified ridges, and then I want to go into a specific color and get that color to stick just in those cracks. So now I've got crystal everywhere but where those optics were. And I'm only giving it a slight undulation of twist because I don't want it to be super twisted. I want it to just kind of be a little energy vortex. Do you want to explain to the people how you actually get it in the crack and not like on top of the ribs? Yeah, well, when I, when I went into the optical mold and I blew it in there and got those 12 ridges, the exterior of the ridges touched that aluminum mold and chilled. So now the surface doesn't have enough heat to allow that color to stick to it. But in the core where the glass is thicker, right down in the deep ridges is when you go in and you swirl it inside the color, it only sticks down in those cracks specifically in 12 notches around. Is that 12? 12. That's right, folks, that was 12. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have some amazing sparkling going on right here. All right, just clarifying. The order doesn't have legs on it. Uh, it doesn't have, uh, it's whatever I want. It's artist choice. Okay. And I thought it'd be super cool. So now you're gonna gather over that with more crystal? Uh, yeah, unless Sue's she, she is. doesn't want legs on it. She just asked. She's like, he's putting legs on it? So, Sue, you let I us know. I thought it'd be super cool, Sue, but if you don't want them, I don't have to put them on there. That's a, what's all about the custom orders. But, hey, you know, it's like... It, it depends. If she's using it as a functional mug, she might not want those legs well, on it. Well, we're going to have a little response come in, but I still got time. 
We'll wait. No. We'll yay wait to for the legs Sue. And yay to the legs. But Sue, if you don't want legs, then we have to give it arms. No legs. You can do the next one with legs, but I don't have to do the next one because there's not going to be a next one. All right. This is going to be a one and only one kind of super special. Unless one of our new amazing patrons watching us from all over the U.S. Just like that, hey, there you go. We'll be making another one. All right, back We're into the glory hole. We're always open to customers, aren't we? Yeah. just got to reach out and talk to Jake. No, you go on the website, you go on the shop button, and you scroll down to custom orders. Yeah, and then you click the button, and Jake gets an email from you. Oh, my gosh, look at how easy it is. Those guys don't know that, though, right, guys? They don't, but well, now they do. That's why I was do. selling them. So, Oliver, do you know what the giveaway question is for this week? I did read it about three hours ago. Perfect. Do you want like to see if I remember you? it? Yes. I think it said, like, what special occasion do you want to use a fancy goblet for? That's pretty good, Oliver. Yeah, so our giveaway question for the week is what kind of special occasion could you see yourself using one of the handcrafted Jake or Chris collaboration goblets? We don't know what you're going to win yet for that question because we usually always take care of that at the end of the show, right, Oliver? Yes. Sparkly close up. But if you want to send your answers to enews at glassacademy.com, they'll be entered to win whatever we decide to give away. You know, I, I was thinking about that question, though, Bess. Yeah. And, like, I don't have a goblet, per se, but I have, like, a really nice... I'd call it like a snifter glass okay. that uh, Chris made. And I use that every day. Like, my occasion is when I'm thirsty. That's fair. And oh, I have, yeah, I like I'm, that. I have a good rocks glass from here. I have a mug that I just use whenever I want because it's my favorite mug. I think you and I both have reasons coming up Blow for maybe over. using cool goblets, and that could be for a wedding. Good. Oliver and I are not getting married. They're two separate weddings. I want to clarify that after I said that. Yeah, we got our we, we're, we're separate occasions. Separate occasions. <laughs> same theme, separate occasions. Are you guys getting married the same year or you don't know yet? Repeat that, please. Same year? 24, 25, you don't know? I, we I actually, ma'am, the family's watching, so I got to be careful how I say oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah sorry, not we to put you on We recently bought a wedding planning book. And we look at the first three pages of it. Blow. <laughs> I can't hear a thing. I like shutting people down when they're talking about their wedding. Speaking of weddings, Chris is going to be making Good. some goblets for Jamie Fryberger. Is that her last name now? I thought she got oh, married. Oh, McGraw. How many people changed their name when they got married? Is that still a thing? Do people change their names or do they keep them? Sure is a thing. Sure is. Well, I'm just saying. That's still a thing. All right. So I'm getting ready for a little cap. I'm going to have you cap it, and then we're going to press this in, and then we're going to add our foot onto it, which is going to be an all-clear foot. Ooh, so and beautiful. Point, I got lucky. Cap it. So what you don't see is Oliver's holding the back end of the pipe with his fingers over it so the air cannot squish out right. of the pipe. Clear foot. And that allows Chris to make a certain style shape. How you trying to go pretty thick? You trying to go slim? Yeah, normal size foot. Okay. He'd use a goblet because they're getting divorced and they would like to have a celebration. That's a great reason, too. Yeah. Oh. That was a celebration. That's pretty awesome. One feet. The adventuring starting to show up super sparkly on our side of town. 
Uh, if we look outside, out those windows, it's nice and dark. Soon enough, it's gonna be summer again and we'll be blowing in the light. I can't wait. It's already getting staying late a lot longer. I know, so Looking nice. Looking beautiful, bring it on over. Let's get it from Oliver's right perspective. Nice hot foot. Nice hot that foot. That was creamy and buttery. The taglia is metal and allows him to push it nice and flat without catching fire, although you're seeing some of the wax I burn off I want it to stay a little bit rounded, just like the base on the sap sucker himself. So I think we're good, Oliver. You gotta be careful with those sap suckers, man. They'll get you. All right, equalizing the heat. It's real important to make sure that, like I can't punty this piece. I can't transfer it off the end of the blowpipe by sticking a punty onto the bottom because it's too darn hot right now. This bottom is way too hot. So I'm equalizing the heat, guys. You want a uh, dirty punty? Uh, not on a not on a mug. No dirty punty needed, especially because it's going to be a sculptural piece. Yeah. So I think a regular punty, no step downs. That's okay. That'll work. All right. If you guys have any questions, now is the time. Yeah. Here's a question for myself. There's a pair of shears here that are the shears that I don't like, so I'm getting the pair that I do like. And the question is, why don't I like those shears? And I'll tell you why. Because they don't cut as nice as these Italian manicones. The Italian manicones are super tight. They cut great. They're the nicest shears we have. Depending on the job and the piece you're making, you use different shears for different things. These particular shears, I know I'm going to be putting some big eyeballs on and some other things, so I want to make sure I got the good cutting shears. I thought you said high balls. I'm like, what does that mean? I did say eyeballs. I'm putting some eyeballs high on. High balls. H-I-G-H. High balls like the glass. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. I'll get for one second. It's a nice looking punny, my friend. I want to get a little heat up on the neck. I just... I Doing the warmer upper, I just heard how Chris said that when we're doing gobbles, we need a smaller punty. And but then, then I remember that we're doing a sculptural mug now that we need to have a pretty a big one that can hold a lot of heat. All right. All right, who's excited for the show blown away? got to remember that they shrink down, I don't know, what is it, like 40 minutes or 30 minutes or something to these key elements, but the artists have four hours to produce what you're seeing in 20 minutes, 10 contestants. So what you're seeing here today is all of that shrunken down. Kind of in the taller shape, just like the design of that thing that Bessie put up earlier, the monster that you saw. That was weird. We're sorry for that brief. All right. Uh, pause there in the action. Maybe I got too close with the camera. Who knows? Started overheating. No, oh, it doesn't feel hot. I don't know what happened. White eyeballs, baby. Some buggers. All right. That's because they're going to be bugging out. Let's About. do it. Probably right, I'll take it. one eyeball and then you'll be able to uh, take the other one off. I'll take the other one off that you can marble it and get it hot. Okay. Yes. Technical question from Beverly. What temperature is the oven you put the object into? This particular oven that I put it in is about 2,500 degrees, Beverly. 
and that's hot. Some people don't like working it that hot. When you're working real fragile, delicate, tiny little goblets, you don't want it as hot as 2,500 degrees. You want to turn it down to probably like 2,350. That way you won't melt your handles. You can, uh, after a few good coats, Oliver, I'd like you to uh, marble that. You can do it right now if you want into a cylinder. Just so she's even. There you go. That's looking perfect. What? You got experience making eyeballs or something? A little bit. I used to do that in a past life. Remember that reference I used when we were looking at that piece the other, other day? When we were on movie night? <laughs> and we were talking about that eyeball. And I, when I was in Mexico City, I got one of those on my ear plate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Bring that over nice and easy. One eyeball coming up, guys. Stoat lift. Okay. Next. Marble a little of that off of there if you can. Tough. That's a tough one, guys. That's what happens. There's the eyeball way over there. It's back see there. It. See it? Well, let's start another one up. Don't mind it. It happens once in a while. All right. Yeah, we know all the steps now. It's actually kind of nice to happen once in a while. Girls all about. I don't lose a lot of pieces, but that one, for some reason it seemed like it was a little bit brittle on the punty, and it popped off. And I didn't even set it down hard on that yoke. I mean, I just it was a jumper. Maybe because it's got the sap, sap sucker. sucker energy. But I do remember a couple times way, way back in the day when I was doing a custom mug night, which are now called happy hours. I had a piece I had to make for a lady, and I had to make it like five times. And it was like one in the morning to the point where we were like, all right, we're going to have to make this another time. Yeah, those are the days when happy hour started at 7. Yeah. They started at 5 And there was 12 now. people in it. 7 o'clock with 12 people. <laughs> Everybody in the comments says we've got some treachery going on. Yeah. I think I saw that little sapsucker guy run by. But I bet Laughing. You, you guys know what's happening right now, right? You guys can give us the play-by-play. -play. You're really having an issue with the microphone today, everybody. It's kind of hanging off your ear, isn't it? Yeah, well, every time I put anything up in the air, it just... It's flying. I'll just let it hang down for a while. It's all right. I'm sure they can probably hear me just fine. You're when you get a second, enough. I can fix that for you. Uh, it's all right. I got it. Thank you, though. We could just tape it to you. Little duct tape, please. <laughs> These are supposed to be powerful. They're supposed to be able to hook it on your big toe and still be able to be heard. Do you have small ears or something? It just can't stick. <laughs> are you saying <laughs> I have small ears? Yeah, I have big no, ears. No, so. somehow I got switched to having it on the left side of my body, and that's where my pipe goes when I'm blowing glass. It's on the left side with my hand when I thumb it, where everybody else is right-handed. So it makes sense that Jake would have his on his left side, but mine needs to be on the right side only. Jake, do you have anything to say about this? Jake, are you out there? Rachel says, do you do pieces with ashes? We do. Funny, you should ask that. Yeah, it's funny. Maybe I should get my microphone back on. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we do do uh, cremated do remains. The company name, you guys, is ashesandartglass.com, and it's a separate company I have that I do that type of uh, memorial sculptures. So check us out. Message me through ashesandartglass.com, and there's I'd a love link to on talk the website to too. If you go to glassacademy.com, and there's the a shop connection. Page, yep. Go all the way to the bottom, and there's the link. 
we've been discussing this, and in fact, this might be a good time to say it. Someone was telling us she worked in the funeral business, and she said in the funeral business, you never say ash, because people are like, that, that bothers them, like that their loved ones are now ash. So she said, you say cremains. What do you guys think out there? Can you put it in the chat? Does that bother you to say ashes? Would you prefer cremains? Where are you at with this subject? You guys are frontline staff or not staff, frontline customers. Sometimes it's really nice for us to ask directly. I had never thought about it. I've been very fortunate to have not many people pass in my life, transition out of this body. Technical question from Beverly. Okay. Beverly says, when I've seen glass blowing in St. Helens, Merseyside, UK, they use wet newspaper to round the glass and cool it. Why do they do that? Oh, Who wants this one? You can have it, Michelle. Uh, wet newspaper is like using your hand. Think of it like an oven mitten. It's something you can feel what's going on, but... Um, I personally was not trained with wet newspaper, so I never use it. Instead, I use these things, wooden blocks that are carved out to a round shape. I've never liked newspaper. The marver is a great tool. Gravity is a tool to shape it. The wooden blocks, your breath, swinging it. I find that students, when they use paper, it becomes this big crutch, and it steals a lot of the heat from the glass and popones proponed like it makes you slow down you want to work with the glass as much as you can straight from the furnace why it's got its core heat but yes people do use folded newspaper and the funny thing is now who gets newspapers anymore so that kind of went by the wayside everybody in the comments is saying ashes jody says she thinks cremains sounds creepy oh interesting right all right. That was a good feedback. We'll have to go back and read these after. Put a step down pony out for me, would you? But you know a big one? Oh, Normally we punny got mugs up with a big punny. color, the sparkle. Sue, you're going to love it. It's so cool. If you guys have not thanks, subscribed thanks, to our YouTube channel, there's a little button there. So next week, it sends you a little notification. I think it's an email that says, hey, we're going live. Uh, sometimes people forget on Tuesday nights. But the other good part is Hello? you can come back at any time to watch our videos on YouTube. We have over 500 of them Good. up there. If you really want to see how awkward and weird we were in the beginning, you can scroll back and some watch some of those old videos. Or just watch last week's. <laughs> <laughs> or watch this week's again tomorrow. And the ones in the summer, we'll have to tell them what show number, where we had to do the ice packs to the phone because the phone would overheat for the two hours. That's so funny, because that's before my time. And did you know we used to do two shows a week? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's a lot. That's a lot, but it was COVID and nothing was open, right. so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like I've been here before. All right, Oliver, how about that? foot my Coming man right up just as a reminder you guys we do have a lot of goblets left on the table i did take down whatever sold but there are some really really beautiful pieces still left i'll go ahead and i'll throw that link in the chat for you guys if you are interested in seeing what is still available but go ahead and check that out and those are the theme colors of our upcoming show Minus the blue one. They're all like salmons and peaches and light purples. I'm going to stand on this side this time when Oliver does the foot. 
Everybody is saying, wasn't it Tuesdays and Fridays? Maybe. They said Fridays were drinkware night. Could have been. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then we decided that Tuesday was the better show because Fridays, as things were opening up, that's what it was. People were going out for the weekends and the numbers were dropping. Right it's up. real. The ratings were falling. But the reality is we were open. Well, yeah, I think it was more about everybody could do whatever they wanted. They weren't condemned or whatever it was called. What was that called again? <laughs> furloughed no no they weren't furloughed <laughs> sequestered to their house condemned sounds like a good <laughs> a good description of what happened during covid and then now we've got a couple people saying tuesdays and thursdays so we are unsure of whatever day that was i think we're gonna have to go back i'm doing some editing on youtube so i'll look that up i think it was tuesdays and thursdays because we didn't have any class is going on Thursday nights because we we're quarantined. Is Jake still watching? Jake, are you out there? Do you remember? He hasn't commented in a hot second, so I don't know. Oh, must have got busy. Yeah. Or they're closing up. That's what I'm thinking. A lot of people tend to go right towards the end. All right, this is just putting, it's a funny shaped tool that's just putting air right on the center part of that foot. You can't do it, you guys. I tried to do it for you. But it wouldn't work. This time Oliver got one of the thicker punnies because they're going to be doing so much work on this. It gives it a larger surface area. Not saying that's why it came off the piece, but since we have the opportunity, he's changed up the style of pipe. All right, all right. Now that's looking beautiful. We're gonna keep this puppy nice and hot. Not gonna be banging around. Be gentle with the sap sucker. That's right. Don't scare him. We everybody out there knows how like the gnome deal goes. Yeah. The gnomes are jumping off. This is this this particular piece has its own entity. You know? What came first, the sap sucker or the gnome? I think the sap sucker did. I mean, I think gnomes elsewhere in this time. You're going to get everyone all confused. We're what around you're talking about. It. But you know. <laughs> we're talking yeah. fairy tales of the Black Forest here. All right, the piece of equipment Chris is at is called the glory hole. To the right or to the left of him over there are three annealers. That's where the products will go when they're finished. Beautiful shuffleera plant growing. Oh yeah. Anybody get my e-blast from the gallery out in Ann Arbor today? I sent one out this afternoon. If you're not on my uh, gallery and website email list, chrisnordinestudios.com, sign on and get on my mailing list. This is the Glass Academy, sir. I'm sorry, everybody, but ChrisNordinStudios.com. <laughs> we need like one of those things where the screen goes. Zzz. All right, those little pieces, I picked them up. They're really thin. We could break some of them later. We break them up, we crush them, we wash them, and then we use them for our class projects. So that's coming down the pipeline. What don't we do to them, Oliver? What don't we do to them? Yeah. You don't eat them. You don't uh, mix them into bread dough? Don't mix them in. I, I was just making dough earlier today. You were? Yeah. What kind of dough? White bread. Oh, boy. Going for the healthy stuff, I see. Absolutely. Sourdough? Pumpernickel? Aren't they all white doughs? I do not know... What makes a sourdough a sourdough? All right, in the chat, you guys know it. I know you guys know the answer to that Someone one. Someone knows that stuff. What right, makes a sourdough a sourdough? It tastes sour. Why? I love a good sourdough. I know. So do I. So good. It's about the yeast and it's about the fermentation process. I asked oh, them to put it in the chat. Oh. Are you in you the chat? You guys know. Let's go. 
you set a roll today. Funky. You guys go for the dough and we'll go for the eyeballs. You guys haven't really seen the school bus in a while. A lot of these new folks that are watching us probably don't even know what the school bus story is all about. You might have to tell them. take it out? Absolutely not. <laughs> I've been a good boy. <laughs> oh my. Michelle, tell the people about the school bus. All right, one second. You want to just monitor that from there? Sure can. I have taken over the camera while Michelle pulls out the legendary school bus. That's good. Bring it on over, baby. Und, und, I thought it like. Und. Nice. So the diamond shears have a diamond pattern on it, which allows the cut to be, it's not like a, a cut when you use scissors. It makes like a, like a jelly bean. What does it do? It makes a jelly bean? Like, yeah, when you use not the exactly shear, sure what's going see on. the diamonds there? It makes it like a little point when you finally do cut it so that your eyeball looks like a jelly bean. It doesn't have a straight across edge. Did you hear that, Oliver? I heard something about jelly beans. The di diamond shears make jelly beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... She probably learned that from her sister, who's a pastry chef. She's probably in the chef's zone making jelly beans. Michelle gave her a pair of diamond shears from back in the day. My sister does marzipan. Do you guys know what that is? Who eats marzipan? Put it in the chat, say yes or no. But my sister has a whole business for her whole adult career, raised her family and her husband making these marzipan creatures that she sells in Montreal. And she'll bring some home. She'll make some at Easter time and we'll have some here. But Americans are not super fond of marzipan. If you like marzipan, put it in the chat because I like marzipan. So there's some sort of eyeballs that these guys get too, but I'm not really sure. What color is the eyeball? The pupils. Pupil? The pupils, just like a bunch of kids in school, we call it pupils, right? <laughs> yeah. We've got a question from Dave. Dave says, do you wax the diamond shears or do you like them clean? I wax them, Dave. You want them to cut nice and smooth. You kind of got to keep them away from the, the other goodies too, though. All right, get that screaming hot, Oliver. Frida is here in the chat watching on Facebook. Your gallery, Rita. Yay, oh, yeah, Rita, Rita, what's up? Rita Maloney. She's Hello, amazing. Rita. Her and I got the newsletter out today. It was awesome. All right, bring me some pupils, baby. Coming right up. Pupil one. Eat that up. Row three. Next time Chris goes to the glory hole and we have a pause, will you pull up that picture? Sorry, just get her hotter. Got I'll it. Make sure I give a little extra picture. love to that punty Oliver. You know sucker. why? Yep. He is up on the screen. No repeats. All right, just so you guys have an idea, you see it, it'll be on the screen in one second. Give me one second. Just get it, keep getting it hot. There it is. So you can see those nice round eyes, pupil. You've got a nose and a mouth coming. Thank you, Bess. Of course. All right, bring it on, Oliver. I 
That's screaming hot. I heard it. All right, we doing black, nose or mouth next? Black nose. You got it. Of the block bucket sapsucker? No, marzipan. Mar you know oh, it? marzipan. Okay. Uh, when my sister comes, she's coming for Easter. She'll have characters and stuff. I'll have her bring some. We can do a taste test on the it's show. It's all the almond tasting, yeah. right? Yeah, almond paste. I think I've had it before, yeah. Yeah. And she gets hers from France, and they mix it with a, a certain percentage of sugar. Oh, nice. And then coloring. So she makes little creatures that are yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. Bite size. They eat flash. them like we eat. And then chocolate. we'll be ready. And I'm not a chocolate person, so I tend to like things like that. Yeah, I was just thinking it's like an American equivalent of like a chewy gummy candy. Yeah. Because they're handmade, I think sometimes in Canada, I don't know, feels like they have more handmade things. Okay. Carrie says, my sister got married many years ago and had a cornucopia on top of her wedding cake with marzipan fruit coming out of it. That's it was cascading cool. down the cake. It was amazing. That's super cool. It sounds super cool. Yeah, so wedding cakes might have it on it. Never thought about that. Nostrils going in. Ow. Look at that schnoz. That is quite the schnoz. So Michelle, when you were growing up, was your sister like always into pastries and baking and such, or yeah, was that something so she found later? Yeah, so my family's life? from Montreal, so I think she was exposed to it. But she ended up going out to California to be a chef and started doing pastries, and from there she learned all these things. I am not sure. She chose a restaurant in Montreal, and at some point she chose to go out on her own. And then her husband's from France, and he um, he was a twin. And in France, when you have a family business, you can only pass it on to one of your children. So he came to Montreal to work and met my sister. Get some red lips, baby. Okay. So my sister made married a French baker, and between the two of them, they grew this business. cool thing when they talk about the bakery in France, every city had one bakery and they could have, they would take their vacations opposite the bakery in the neighboring town so that people were not without bread. How cool is that? Coming up, what do we got? All right, so we got the lips coming in this, uh Sap sucker always has big giant lips because that's how it gets all the sweat off the back of the glass blower's legs. Ew. That's right. Sucks it right off. That's just how they are, Bess. I thought he was called a sap sucker, not a sweat sucker. That's like criticizing an anteater snout. That's just not cool, Bess. Yeah, Bess. He didn't Sorry. want that snout, it was given it to him. Oh, but he can control his actions and he's choosing to lick the sweat. Well, I mean, I think anteaters probably do it too because it is salty and, hey, you know, it's coming from a glass blower. It's got to be a good thing. Oh, Pammy, how do you know my sister's business? That's awesome, 100%. You need to shape the up in a Here's the interesting thing. Way. She sees us doing these that? shows and do I'm like... Do you want it shaped up anyway? Oh, uh, no, just hot. You need to do tutorials on how you make this marzipan because she's older than Reminds me of the pumpkin lips. Ah, 
Debbie cool. says she saw it on your Instagram. Oh, so fun. Yeah. All right. How about a GA stamp for now, and then we'll uh, I don't know. put the handle on. When GA she comes into handle. town, I'll have to think about that. Maybe we have her on the live show. That would be cool. That would be really cool. She could make a creature, and then we could make it in glass. We might have froze for a second, but it's everything's running smoothly. I saw a couple comments that we froze, so we are here. Huh. Yes, I see that on my page. Annie says she loves your jersey, Chris. And he kept it on the whole show. Oh, man. Not, though, guys, I didn't have the, the gumption to take my, shirt, my Glass Academy shirt off underneath because I didn't want my oh, jersey no. to get all sweaty. Because <laughs> you can't wash a jersey. No. The so. game did start. Oh! How's it doing? minutes ago. Ooh. It is one nothing. Wings? Wings. Who got it? I can never say his name right. Patrick Kane? No, I, that's an easy name to How say. How about to break it? God for Sear? Yeah, that one. Oh, he's been pile driving the net. Pile Let's go. Jake, if you're watching, you're watching it too. All right, so the handle. He might have switched us. Gonna gather and gather game. about the size of your thumb, coat it with like three coats of, of adventurine, and then you're going to, get, we're gonna gather over that, and you're gonna give it to me, and I'll strip off the extra clear and size it up and give it back to you. Okay. All right, question du jour. The one day when Facebook glitched, you guys all jumped to YouTube. What platform are you watching on and why? Do you like YouTube because it's on the big screen? Do you like Facebook because you can comment easily? Hey, what's going on there? Hello there. Remember to put the handle the right way. I remember. Sue, you want the sap sucker facing away from you, correct? I remember. Does anyone remember Mr. Bill? He was on TV, Mr. Bill and Froggy. <laughs> Mr. Bill was my dance teacher growing oh? up. I think Is I that heard. Why he looked at me so funny, Bachelor. Like, How a do you know bit. my dance teacher? A little bit. I think I heard of a Mr. Bill in like Schoolhouse Rock. That was Mr. Bill was back in the day. I think it might have there been was uh, Little Bill. That was a show. I think it was I on used Saturday Night Live. But it was the Mr. Bill show. And Froggy they used to blow up with fireworks everywhere. A little froggy. Did you have was like Mr. Curfew? Bill a horse? I don't know if it was a horse, but I better concentrate on this piece. <laughs> I'm marbling this down. Is it hot Got enough? Got three coats on it? Yeah. Yeah, marble it down. Go chill this pipe off. Get screaming hot. Is that what that noise was? No, that was the sap sucker making his love noise. His love <laughs> noise. He sniffed a, a sweat running down my cheek. <laughs> Oliver, what are you shaping up? So this is gonna be a solid handle, and we got a ton of this sparkly gold all over. You can kind of catch it in the light here as I rotate it nice and slow. We're letting it cool down right now. And we're gonna gather over it with more clear crystal. It's gonna really magnify and make it pop. Pop, soda. Pop. All right, Oliver, go ahead and gather over that and bring it over to me. And we'll trade up right at the bench. I don't need to drip any clear off of it. Just give it, get it as is. Yeah, just do it as is and give it to me. I'll strip it off. I want to be able to create the size. Mary says, I have a Mr. Bill fake credit card. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Okay, bring it. It's looking perfect, Oliver. Take that, set this down. Thank you. Okay, by doing this technique, it allows Chris some time to shape the handle. He's allowing the new glass to heat up that core. Sue says, don't put the handle directly opposite of the face, more like where his ear should be, so that his face points Yeah, that's out. where it's at. I gotta, I'll take so. Good, I'm glad we cleared that up. You never know. You wanted to be, I don't know right where his ear would be. We had like okay, a... Let's switch this up. I love this because this is this is like customization. Yep, I'll get that really hot. 
Mary says, Chris, we are showing our age with Mr. Bill. That's what I'm like. Who cares? I don't care about my age. It's my memory, folks. Just like uh, Jonathan Hart, man. He was a self-made millionaire. Which, that's not like a big thing anymore. It sure is. Everyone loves Jonathan Hart, Mrs. H. Come on. I'm talking about self-made Get millionaires. Get it hot. Stay focused. Stay focused. How hot is it, Ollie? It's uh, looking pretty good to bring that. Yeah. Steady now, straight up. Steady. The ear. Steady. Quite the ear. Robin Ooh. says you can't help but smile when you see that mug. Let's see if we can get a close up of him in there. Camera does not like that bright light. All right. Now we're just on the finishing touches and we'll get her home. You got it. The stamp. Stamped already. Oh, never mind. You're right. The stamp looks like a birthmark. That's so cool. Little beauty mark for the sap sucker. I think so. Chris tucking the end in there. It's a baby. I think Donna did print it. I think we classify this as taking one and a half tries. So we only yeah, we only it. got halfway through the first time. Is that a sparkly handle? Yeah. The I adventure love that. And that's his tentacle that he uses to wrap around your leg. You guys oh, know the story. Lovely. Look at that. Hold it like this, Sue. Drink it like that. You can fling a little liquid at somebody if you wanted. Last flash here. You got the big tongers out, Oliver? Oh, yeah. I'll get them warmed up. Pammy says that's got personality. I like it. <laughs> Carol loves the sparkles. Well, you got to check that out on the annealer reveal. Jake will be doing that, and that's going to be tasty. Did not take much to get that to come off. I barely touched it, so I'm glad it didn't uh, get buck wild. You didn't knock the bench or it would have been number three. Whew. All right, we do I'll have time for side. another goblet after this piece. We're going to cool down yep, for a minute, get some water. Oh, yeah, we got time. So if you guys want to comment about what style goblet you want to see they can get set up to do that next look at them in there Woo. there we go all right that was sweet too that was super cool we love doing nice. custom pieces and you know what you guys for everyone else who's watching you, she can go back she can have company over and go back six months six months from now and pull this video up and watch them watch us make the pieces while she's sitting there having an ice cold something around her so that's the coolest thing about custom orders here on the show. Check them out. Check them out. Bess, this might be a nice time to do a little bit of housekeeping Absolutely. after I go over. Um, let me just show you what's on the table here. We got that cool beauty. Sue says, thank you. It's awesome. 
coming soon to a front doorstep near you. All right, Donna got that set up. Last week was a bit of cabacle, but this week we're good to go. All right, very cool. Hello everybody, it's good to be back. Um, I have a couple things here for you. First is going to be our monthly giveaway. So our monthly giveaway for our e-news is a hundred dollar gift card. We're gonna be doing that once a month from all what? of the entries. A hundred dollars just they can amazing. buy anything. Absolutely amazing. They could use it towards products, they could use it towards classes, right? Yep. Absolutely. So congratulations to Marianne Walters. You're gonna be receiving an email from Donna with that gift card. So congratulations. So it's an online gift card, it's not a physical one in the mail. But that'll Absolutely. be perfect. Next. Our giveaway question from last week, we were talking about what type of wellness shots do you like? And I have a lot of different answers here. We've got a lot of people mentioning ginger. Um, we have some people saying they haven't tried them, but they've recently acquired some recipes they'd like to try. Um, some people say, nope, water and coffee are my wellness shots. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and our winner dun, says dun, dun. ginger with turmeric. I feel like they give me some energy. Very cool. So congratulations to Jen. Dun, dun, dun. So Very Jen, nice. you're going to receive an email from Donna probably tomorrow. Donna is going to Thursday or Thursday. She's not in tomorrow. So she's going to give you um, the option of either picking up if you're local or to be able to pay for shipping. And they are winning a Marini collectible. Which would be a great segue into the membership. Absolutely. So membership did go live last week. We already have a lot of people who have signed up and you're gonna see their names at the end of the show today. So thank you so, so much to all of you who have already registered for one of the two levels of membership. We love the support. We love seeing that you guys are interested in what we're doing. Michelle is showing off the Marini collectible right now. And you guys can see all of those different layers in that. And that is so, so cool. Isn't that cool? I can't stop looking at it. If you are in the $48 level <coughs> membership, you might just be getting one of these in your collectible set. And is every that a long piece of that, Michelle? Yeah. So every quarter we're gonna be doing a something special for our members whether you're in the eight or the $48 level, you're gonna get some surprises. One more thing I've got to mention to you guys, the sheep pre-sale is still going. It is still live until March 3rd. So if you guys have a sheep you would like to get um, pre-ordered, go ahead and do that. You still have a little bit of time. You'll find that on our website under the area of the gathering point, all of the gathering point things and you'll be able to pre-order your cute little sheep. Ah, Do you have a favorite sheep, Michelle? I like the stylized one. I like that because uh, this one's fun and playful, but this one, it's, it reminds me of like Amish dolls. Amish dolls yeah. didn't have faces, so yeah. that would match your mood. Interesting. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. I like, he's not up on the table, but I like the sheep with the little fluff on top yeah. of his head. Yeah, so we'll have some of those as well. Have we decided what we're doing next, Chris? Oh, yeah, we're going to goblet. All right. At the end of the show, we'll have QR codes for the membership. That will just be like a tile at the end of the show if you're interested in supporting what we do. We are a small mom and pop shop that has school buses. And why do we have school buses? There, that's the one that backs up. It's going at them. What was the saying? Get hit by a bus? What? No, why? Get thrown under the bus. Thrown under the bus. We're gonna make a shirt. Remember when the like, bus tire track went over the back? Yeah, we might still have to do that. So sometimes when someone says the wrong thing, we bring out the bus. And you know who that someone is? Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> If he's not here, you he's don't think my mic was on, on you guys, but I'm the someone. You're the someone? The someone. That's right, I'm the thump one. 
<laughs> so I do have the QR code in the bottom right corner of the screen right now. If you guys are interested in joining our membership, we do have two different levels of it. Um, QR code right now, if you scan that one, is going to point you to the Loyalty League. That is our $48 a month membership level. You get a lot of really cool perks and exclusive content um, for being in that Loyalty League. In a minute or two, I will switch out that QR code and it'll switch to our $8 level for our star supporters. Still awesome content. You get access to the Mueller reveal. Um, just another way of supporting us and a small family-owned business. Chris, do you know who owns this, the family-owned business? <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is if, uh, if, the screen, if the QR code's up there, they can screenshot it so they have that, and then they get the second one comes up, they can screenshot that too. So if they don't want to try to sign up during the show, they can sign up later. Absolutely. One thing that's really cool, I'll tell you, in the $48 level, we have the Facebook. It's a private Facebook group. The really cool thing about this is for me posting, Bess posting, Jake, whoever's doing it. When we do Glass Academy page, we kind of have to give, like, the regular Facebook Glass Academy page, we have to give a little context. Hey, this kid in the picture is the owner's son. It's been around Glass. We do not teach classes to children because that's what people think when they see a child in the image. And so when I posted that image on the membership page, people know it's Jake. They know it's Chris. They recognize the Renaissance outfits. So it's a really nice way to go in depth with some of the background and history of the company because you already know the story. If this is your first time coming to Glass Academy, you might not know who Jake is. We've talked about him all night, but he's not here. You have no idea who he is. That so. QR code did switch, just so you guys know. It awesome. is for the $8 membership now up on the street. I'll leave that for a second. Jeanette says, how does that work with postage for us overseas? Yeah, that's a good question. We weren't expecting so many overseas. So uh, we had a couple from Canada. We just shipped them out. It was about double the shipping. So if we go overseas, how about this? Can I say that? Like, I don't know. I'll bill you a couple more. I, got, I don't know how to adjust the tech for that because the gifts we send out. So I know Pammy Hughes is in Australia, some of the other people, I don't know, you wanna sign up, we'll do it one time and find out what the postage is, and then we'll come to a compromise. Because it's hard for me to know, the box that we're sending out is not big, but it's still $8. You know, I don't know what it costs to ship Whoa, overseas. Albert. Harder. Keep going. A little more. Good. What color did we use here? Ooh, why don't you guys guess? Got lots of purples up. It's looking like it could be something pinky. This is that cranberry, and I love this cranberry, you guys. I haven't used it very often. If you were guessing, sorry, I let it out of the bag. Oh, it's fine. I love this cranberry and I have multiple coats of it. Tasty piece. Blow. Keep going. Good. All right, Oliver, I like it. Let's do a stem. Do you guys All know right. what's happening next week? I'll tell you the color by the time you get over here. All right, you I'll just you, 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 you think on out. it. <laughs> Chris and Jake are out of town next week. Okay. Which means I'm blowing. So who's going to do the camera? Do we have Oliver or Matt here? They're both going to be here. Okay, so we'll just rotate and we'll take turns. Okay, we'll cool. We'll have a fun and exciting night. I mean, they're going to be blowing a little bit too. Yeah, we'll all rotate. <laughs> we'll go for that gold ruby windy outside and it it's is. rattling the door we keep looking at the back door Big thinking yeah. someone's yeah. coming in and gold ruby right there yep carlin on youtube says the sheep are so cute very nice thank you thank you that's a jake invention the wings must still be winning wings game is two nothing yeah let's see second goal was uh Lucas Raymond. Raymond? Let's go. Let's go, Lucas. All right, a little clarity on the sheep pre-orders. Order 
there's going to be more styles on the table. The thing we want to know is eyes or no eyes. Some are going to have tufts, whether they have eyes or not eyes. But what we want to know is if you like the eye version, we'll make some of those with tufts. Um, we just want a general idea. There's going to be a variety on the table. So when you order them, you're getting a $6 discount by pre-ordering them. The day of the show, we give you a special link. If you're a member, you get first Not pick. Yet. You'll go to the website, use your code, and be able to purchase. We're gonna die and it's not, you've already pre-ordered. You've already paid shipping, the fee, everything, but you'll get a code and you pick out your sheep. So if you want number 16, because he's got eyes and a tuft on his head, you put 16 in your cart, plug in the special code, and away you go. Come out and push that volio on for me slightly. Okay. And then, uh, and then I'll start drawing it out. And you just lighten up and let me kind of work my way into your paddle. Yep. Reminder for you guys: the giveaway question for this week is sure. what kind of an occasion, maybe okay. special or not, okay. would you want to use Press. a Jake or Chris collaboration okay, goblet for? You're going to send your answers to E! News at Glass Academy for your chance to win. I will get that up on the screen for a second for you in a second for you guys. I'm working on creating a graphic. But yeah, go ahead and think boy. about your answers and then send them to e -news at glassacademy.com. I know sometimes I see some of you put your answers in the chat. Okay, I cool for everybody else to see. Does not get you entered. Make sure you're sending that email to make sure you're entered into win. Okay? That's a really good point. Thank you, Beth. Of course, anytime. So I'm going for the same iris foot. I changed the stem up. This stem is the same style stem as I did on the first one. But it's going to have the gold foot with a gold ruby with a cranberry top on it. And I'm, going to, I'm going to still do those adventuring handles again. Oliver did such a good job. I just love the way they look. We're going to do those up one more time. Is gold ruby and cranberry the same color? No, cranberry is much, much deeper. Check it out if you can see it in the light. Oh, right. Cool. And gold ruby is called gold ruby because it's a red color, but it has gold in it. You, you coming? And this is not I'm the giveaway I'm getting some extra piece. heat on it here. Correct. You got what? Coming we'll your way. No, you're yep, good. Soon. Yeah, bring it on over. Be. That's good. Straight over this way. Come over this way. There you go. Nice. He Stay. makes that look really easy. That's like a that's a nail biting moment when you're learning how to blow glass. Because if you don't get it on center when you go to this next part, it doesn't work. I'm sure you guys have seen Jake get all frustrated and upset when something doesn't line up because you go to do this part and it doesn't work. Well, I love it when the foot squeezes out perfect like that. Oliver's got a wooden paddle Hi, and when he, Chris gives the nod, he uses it on the bottom to make sure okay, it good. stays straight. Set that up here for me. Thank you. I'd love to let this solidify a little, Oliver and then do that and show you the show you the handle I'll basically make it and hand it to you and sit down how's that sound I mean the, the foot the foot the punty what? <laughs> got it okay that was a little bit of everything see guys I was focusing on something here you know what happened go ahead and give it a deep flash and sit down and just straighten the foot deep flash up on the neck Maybe give it one more flash. 
You got it. See how I push most of that up there, guys? Yeah, well, Oliver, you can go back and watch the video. <laughs> One person who needed it. We gave him something Straight. else. Straight me quickly. Flash that for me. And then bring it on over. Oh, you kept it perfectly centered. Nice man. <laughs> See how far you can press that on there? Yeah. Now don't go down with it, keep it level when we take it off, okay? Keep, go kind of upward a little, there you go. That way it doesn't fall off of the, the little sticky spot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice job, Oliver, everyone give him a round of thumbs. <laughs> I can hear him all flapping and tapping. Jazz hands, they're all raising their hands. Jazz hands. What's that, a lighter? Thumbs, thumbs up. Oh. Isn't that still something? I don't know. No? I was like, when they do like this, it's jazz hands for like people who are deaf, like clapping. I thought the hands were on Zoom and the thumbs are on Facebook, right? Oh, hands, yeah. like you raise your oh, hand. Yeah, 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 it's me over here, I wanna say something. <laughs> no. Thought we were. If you Bess, you in, haven't been maintaining our Zoom channel too. I totally forgot about the Zoom call channel we're supposed <laughs> to be have going. <laughs> We've got hearts flying on YouTube. Apparently, hands flying on Zoom. We've got thumbs on Facebook. Bringing bells on What's YouTube. I can't on? figure any of it out. Robin just texted me and she had a great idea. If you are overseas and you're interested in joining the membership. Send us your mailing address. Robin's going to check out how much it costs and we'll bill you privately. Because we're sending gifts and coupons. Every quarter we're sending something. And if you use your coupon to buy a product, we'll mail it together in your quarterly order. So, uh, enews at glassacademy.com. Just put your name, your address in there. Robin will do the dance and tell you how much shipping is. Robin and is the shipping queen. She is. is the shipping queen. You guys, she found a mystery. Someone said, I didn't get my stand for the Detroit Puddle. We went back four months in our orders and found the order to know that it was shipped. So, shouts out to Robin and Donna for doing that legwork. Really staying attuned with the customer, knowing that the item went out. Never want to leave you high and dry. Chris likes big glasses of wine or water. This is a sweet one. Donald's got a lot of pink hands in the YouTube chat. What was that? Grab me up a Donald if you threw want. a bunch of pink hands uh, in the uh, YouTube chat. In. You got That's it. pretty funny. We've got a lot of clapping hands on Facebook. Some, some thumbs up. No, do it out of a uh, iris. I know that girl, All right. iris. One coat. Bless you. Nice big red heart from Robin. I want to give a shout out to Bess. Yep, I don't know if you guys know, but we do have some of our products on Etsy elder. just for fun. She's been doing a great job Good. taking care of that. We're going to start having some fun one and done items that are just on Etsy. I've been playing around with it. I've got a couple mugs up there right now that are right there. Etsy exclusive. Um, to help us get seen, if you do have Lift an up. Etsy account, favorite us as a shop helps us out. Etsy knows that the more favorites we get, the more people like our stuff and the more we're seen. So. I don't know. 
how I feel about this sweatshirt with the number 13 on it. It's like the whole show. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think he's going to take it off because the wings are up to nothing at the end of the first. I can't take it off. He, he's going to sleep in this now. He can't take it off until the next game. Whew. It's going to be heavy duty on the I'm plane. I'm impressed he's made it the whole show with Same. it on because I would be dying. I would be dying. He's committed. The Red Wings, if you guys are out there. That's a super fan right there. A super sure. fan. No messing around. Carol, this is not the giveaway. We probably have time for a small giveaway after this is done. This is just an artist choice piece collaboration with Chris and Oliver. Lift up, lift, good. All right, two more. Two more. Two more. What? Where are? Smaller. Robin in the comments says that shipping info goes for regular website and custom orders as well as for overseas customers. If oh, you guys yeah. are interested in ever getting something shipped and you are out yep. of the U.S., One we can still ship to you. We will calculate things, over. but it's kind of it's it requires a little bit of coordination, right, Michelle? Ten four. It okay. does. It's We're really interesting it. with the shipping. It's changed so much in the last three years. It's amazing for a small business owner that like us. It's just okay. so cool. Got a couple new members tonight from the show. Shout out to you guys. Uh, we are self-supported here, so your membership dollars Staying mean right a lot. There. Lower down. Lift up. Up. You can see the glass is cooling as well Again. as whew, Chris's tweezers were getting hot. I'm not gonna mess around with his tweezers, but he could dip them in water and cool them, but the assistant would need to do that and then wipe them off because they're starting to heat up, so the glass wants to stick to them. But again, I'm not touching them. Two of them working together have to do that. Can't stand there yet until Oliver walks by. Sorry about that. No worries, I was jumping the gun. Okay. For those glass blowers Steady. watching, Steady. you pull the bit out and allow the glass to start to come Lift down. Up. Keep going, slow right there. And you can see Chris is directing him to push or pull, depending on the thickness of the glass. Ooh. Wow, those matched perfectly. And it fell back in the center, which is nice. Very nice. I know you're in hyper-focus mode, Chris. When you're ready, I have a question for you about what we just did. Uh -huh. Is it particularly tricky to put all those, uh, you should call them runners, bits, on like the optic mold part of the cup? It's a little bit different because you really got to push them down in there. And that's what I was kind of learning how to do. Not learning, but just learning how to feel it on those optics, just like you were saying. Do you hear that? Learning. So he's been doing this for 30 years. All right. Well, how about I'm going to put this stamp at the bottom. I'm going to get a good flash. And I'll show everybody. And then we'll do the reduction. And then we'll go Keep from there. Keep our fingers crossed to see if it comes off. He says there's a wine called Grandmaster. This goblet should be called the Grandmaster. 
They should be called, I can't quite Grand hear you. Grandmaster. Robin says this should be called the Grandmaster because there's a wine also Production. called the Grandmaster. Aha! Pammy says, don't be afraid of overseas shipping. Robin packs things amazingly. All of my orders to Australia arrive safe and sound intact every time. Nice. Thanks, Pammy, for that shout out. I forget people are nervous about it. Hopefully now you're going to see the benefit of having a dirty punny, folks. So let's see how this baby comes off. Is that like a dirty chai? Right. So he's got to blow away the dust before they do the torch. Because if you didn't, then you torch all the dust in. Oliver has the stamp ready. Yep. We had a question earlier. Somebody asked, do all goblets get stamped on the bottom or is it just artist choice? It's better for us to do it on the bottom. The bottom's thick and putting the stamp there is a great place. When it's thin, we don't really want that button on the bottom or on the side. You guys, sweating it up the wings. It's hot. You got seven minutes for a mini. A mini giveaway? Yeah. Mini giveaway. Nice, well why don't I do a, uh, a seven minute mini giveaway? All right, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Red pipe it up. One more roll, just so you know if you're new to the show, these items stay up on the website all week. There's a couple that have sold. You can see they're gone. So those are what we've got left. The sheep pre-orders are on the website. So cute. This guy has no legs. He's got little felt pads. Got legs. Got legs. Some will have tufts. And coming for our spring show are these really cool, come on camera, focus. There we go. Sparkly eggs, all up, one of a kind. Right yes, we will sell them. I the love that egg. I think it is so beautiful. The close up, I'm seeing it on my screen right now, and I was geeking out. Okay. It's so cool. Make a right out of what you drop that sparkle glass is line. amazing. Yep. So, what are we making for our giveaway? A little after dinner liqueur, relaxing tequila slammer. Oh, tequila nice. slammer. Tequila what? slammer. A nice after dinner relaxing tequila slammer. <laughs> oh, like, all right. I do have our giveaway question up on the screen. It should pop up. There's always a little bit of a delay for you guys. But our question for our giveaway is what occasion, special or not, would you want to use a Hello? special goblet for? Go ahead and send your answers to enews at glassacademy.com to going. enter to win. This wonderful, Good. beautiful, relaxing after dinner tequila slammer. <laughs> tequila slammer. And next week, be sure to tune in. We're Matt, Michelle, and Oliver. And Bess. And Blow. Bess. Blow some amazing I mean, I'm things. Not blowing, but <laughs> I don't know. Now that you just Good. said that, I might make you jump on the pipe. Hey, I always love it when All you right. guys what? put me to the test. I want to. I'm going to think about this because I want hey, something yeah. fun where we all jump in. I like when one person starts and someone else finishes. So we might have some sort of challenge going on. There will not be a dull moment. Mark your calendars right now. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Gathering point, two hours. Bring friends. Bring them. Look at that cool pattern. I can see that glitter from here. Telling you. We might have to just about the use right all size. that next week. Thank you. Little baby foot. Cute little baby foot. This is a steel table. There was a conversation on the glass. Glasses. This is where all the tech heads hang out. Someone built an aluminum marver, which is not the same as a steel marver. It absorbs heat different. Using some shears, he's doing some fancy dancy something or others.
Now it has become the elfin leaf foot. At some point he'll use a paddle or set it on the table to make sure all the tips match at the same level. Pammy says, if you take the tequila slammer, it knocks you flat, so you have no choice but to relax. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> thinking. Carol loves the sparkle. I do love the sparkle. I can see it from here. I love it. I cannot do enough shout outs. I think our team works so well together. Absolutely. Like between you recognizing different things, like, oh, what about this? Robin kicking in, our customers kicking in. Yep. We are a well-oiled oiled machine. You guys will get to see our new member screen here in a second. Shout out to Jessica for making that for us. We do have a question for you guys, those of you who are members, whether you are in the Loyalty League or the Star Supporters level. Right now on this screen, we have everybody kind of bunched together on one page. They will be alphabetized next week. But um, do you guys mind seeing everybody all on one screen? Do you guys want to be separated out by Loyalty League or Star Supporters? Let us know what you think. Um, we're kind of playing around with some new graphics right now, so let us know if you know, you think everybody should be on one page or you, you should be separated out. You're separating us? I'll separate you. Uh, oh. oh, that was... Take that. That sounded like a threat almost. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bus mark? I see a bus mark. <laughs> <Something, marker. yeah. laughs> I came in hot with that one. Sorry, <laughs> Oliver. That was a quick change in tone from the best. <laughs> How's my seven minutes? Yeah, 45 seconds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dunna, dunna. I love the glow on that with the sparkle. The littlest trim in the world. Everybody says all together, so there's our verdict so far. We're yeah. Everybody all together. I mean, together. they can be like uh, left side is one Rosetta, level, right side is another is. level. Okay. Give me a Rosetta, and then, uh, and then we'll stamp the bottom. They can be the, alphabetical. The they can be first you name, last paddle? initial. Absolutely. Mary says we're all family, so together. You can give it quick, and then you can just take like off that. and be on it for yeah. a second. Yeah. And then once These I'm are open, the things that are nice to ask. Because what we think might work well might not be at all. Like, I will apologize right now for the comment about the burning box. If you know what that comment is. If you don't know, I'm not gonna bring it up. These could be at the Renaissance. These could be like the super chalice. I know, I did think that this looked a little Renaissance-y. It's cute. Yeah, like a king or queen or for the top elf. Slammer. Okay. Because he has a minute or two left, we gotta slide in some bling. You guys always love a little I mean, bit of really, overtime. this is a bling and giveaway. Yeah, it is. This is probably one of the fanciest tequila slammers. You gonna drink it? <clears throat> I just want to drink it some Don Julio 1942 guys out of this. The Welcome cool thing you. is, when the E! News goes out, most people answer the question then. So they're not answering the question based upon the item. Because you I don't do know what the... I do have that question up on the screen one more time for you guys to win this beautiful, amazing, after dinner, relaxing, Tequila Tequila. There it is, guys. I'd like to think the title for that piece, the after dinner relaxation, is written in like some fancy, freely fancy cursive writing. writing. Yeah. And then Tequila Slammer is written in like 64 point font bold. Yes. Thick. Microsoft Word Art. <laughs> yeah. Pam, 
Jimmy says that would be nice for sipping port or sherry too. Agreed. I did have port too fast. on my mind, but then tequila took over in the process of thinking. Can you slam port and sherry? I probably should have. <laughs> Carrie says that is a pinky up drinking vessel. And away it goes. Very nice. That was great, guys. Our show. We love Super it. Nice. That was nice. Number 256, the gathering point. Turning off the big boy. Killing the glory hole. Save a little bit of energy there. Remember, the whole time we're doing all this stuff, you guys, we got the GA Mojo right here. Only for our Audience. personal mojo feeling. Uh, shout out to Robin. i sorry, Robin. 256 set up beautiful what we're board doing. as always. Mm. Thanks to Sue for the custom order. Today's lineup we had Chris and Oliver on the pipe, so you remember who's who. Anyone, tech support was best. Head Wranglers, myself. All right, you guys, that was a wrap. Ooh. Oliver. Congratulations, you learned the Dirty Pony. Learn the Dirty That's my first Goblet show with you. The All Dirty right. Pony sounds like a nice drink name for the bar. It does. It should be the that Dirty Punty. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, get on that, Oliver. Now yeah, I'll start thinking about it. All right, Bess has some new end credits for you guys. Look for your name. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Absolutely. Have a good night, guys.